Uh, I want to talk about your film, uh, uh, Madness in the Method. Uh, how did that come about? Your featured uh, debut, directing debut. It's a long story, sort of. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I worked on a movie in, in London, um, and the dude that directed and produced that movie, it's called Devil's Tower. Um, I was in only in a couple scenes, but uh, he after the after we uh, were done shooting, we hung out a little bit, and he was asking me what I really wanted to do that maybe I hadn't done before. Um, and I was just telling him that I wanted to direct, I really wanted to direct, I really wanted to do a movie like a, a more tr tr serial, like Hannibal Lecter type character, uh, road cop, something. Um, and he's, so he winded up actually writing the, a script um, with that, and, I, and not exactly serial killer, but something, you know, a little more dramatic than the Jake character. Yeah. Um, and sent it to me and he said, look, I hope you don't mind, but I, after we got talking, I had this idea, here's a script, and I liked it, but I made some tweaks to it, and he wrote back, and we wrote back and forth. Um, and then we finally got it to a place that we both really liked the idea of the, the script. Um, and then he winded up, like two months later, I didn't hear from him, and just sort of, you know, touring with Get Old and, and doing Comic Con, sort of forgot about it. And he was like, called me one day and was like, hey, man, I, I got good news, I got financing, not only did I get financing for the script that we wrote, um, they want you to direct it. Um, so that's sort of how it came about. And we, uh, you know, we started putting together a schedule and we shot uh, 10 days in LA. We went uh, to, uh, we had to go to London, that's where he's from and, and where the financiers are from. So we went and shot um, in, in close to him uh, for about two and a half weeks. Um, and yeah, and now it's at the Cannes Film Festival right now. It's a, it's not at like one of the big screenings or anything, but it's in the small little marketplace, just trying to get a, a couple people to watch it and get some feedback. Um, and then he comes to LA next week, and we're gonna finish uh, some some of the effects and some of the music and stuff. And then we're gonna see what the plan is. I mean, we're not sure. You know, we've come up with a bunch of ideas. Like, should we just try to get? a Netflix or Amazon to buy it? Do we try to get it in theaters? Do we tour with it? Now, um, what was the process like for you? And this is a pretty big learning curve, I imagine, as a, your first time director. Um, I mean, yes, and I mean, what I think it was the learning curve is, is not so much the directing in it by itself, because I feel like I've, I've uh, been around enough uh, for years now before I tried it, and I've seen Kevin, and it's been right next to Kevin, and and other people, other directors I've worked with, um, but but what was uh, more of a learning curve, if you will, was I also acted in it, and I was a pretty big part in the the movie. Um, so trying to direct and act, you know, it's like I'd come to set and I'd want to set up shots, shots and stuff, um, block out the scene, and then I'd have to go to wardrobe and makeup and get my um, and sort of memorize a bunch of dialogue. So. That was definitely uh, something I wouldn't want to do next time. I really, my goal next time is to direct, straight up just direct a movie and really be able to focus 100% on that. So, but again, I, I'm not complaining. It was awesome. It was fun. Um, I'm, I, I, so far, I really like what you know. I I, and I like what I see, and, and uh, so we've gotten good feedback by a few of the people. Um, I feel like we've gotten good feedback by the people who have watched um, the rough cut of it. So let's uh, let's hope for the best, baby. Well, good luck to you, sir. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, guys.